When I got a call saying that they were making this show that was set 200 years before Game of Thrones, I was really interested. When I got the gig, for that split second, you're like, oh my God, you're in Game of Thrones, it's the biggest thing ever. And you put the phone down, you're like, oh God, now I've got to do it. Game of Thrones has such a history and a fan base and a culture that exists beyond it and around it. It's the biggest TV show, so yeah, so there's a bit of pressure to live up to. <laughs> How do we make thrones but not thrones? What's good about thrones? What worked in thrones, what didn't? What do we want to better? How do we want to evolve the style? It wasn't just a prequel for prequel's sake. There was actually a reason to tell the story. The Targaryens are the fascinating dynasty that we don't really know much about from the original books because at that point they've all died out. There was this once great day where there were dozens of Targaryens running around and a bunch of dragons and they ruled over Westeros. It was a time of peace and prosperity, and everybody knew that if you messed with the Targaryens, you would get the dragons, so nobody dared to overthrow them. This period in Westeros was a very decadent time, so you get to see what the realm looks like before it descends into the detritus and post-decadence of war that you see in the original series. So I was fascinated in going back to that time and seeing the Targaryens at their height and learning what it was that Daenerys lost in trying to win back throughout the story. The original Game of Thrones was very much an epic that was weaving together various different threads. It still has that scale and scope, but it's really just the story of one family slowly tearing itself apart. There's a wish fulfillment for an audience of things they want to see. We're not here to not give it to them. We're here to give them the thing that they want, just not in the way that they're expecting. We're not trying to rehash the past. We're trying to find something fresh and exciting. We wanted to very much embrace the feel and the world of Game of Thrones, but we had the flexibility to enlarge and enhance. But there was this very strong feeling that we wanted the audience to feel they're in the same show. The first time I walked on set where King's Landing's been built, I, I mean, I, I feel like no one told them that that isn't how films are made now, that you don't have to build the whole castle. But no, it's all there and it's all in the right place. You read the script at home and you imagine the scene and then when you come in, it's always um, twice the size you imagined it. You walk around these sets that look like ancient monuments and buildings with massive statues, or you can be on these amazing locations. You cannot believe that this is on the earth somewhere this extraordinary. The other Sierra Game of Thrones was absolutely brilliant, and the costume were brilliant. So it was not a question of doing better. It was just a question of doing something beautiful. We had said to ourselves, we're going to pull our horns in on season one. I'm going to start in a more grounded, more intimate way. But even with our horns pulled in, it was just big. One of the many beautiful things that George did with his creation of Westeros is it really feels three-dimensional and fully realized and that there's thousands of years of history and you can get lost in a good way in the world of Westeros. For me, the best fiction, the best drama is about characters. House of the Dragon is a story about very flawed human beings, capable of love and hate, capable of doing good things, capable of doing monstrous things. I genuinely hope that audiences are open to watching a new chapter in the Game of Thrones saga. Game of Thrones was its own thing, and it was a cultural phenomenon, but this is something else, it's a different story. The scale of the story is told in a different way. All that size that we loved in Game of Thrones is here, but House of the Dragon is rooted in the domestic and the familial. I hope fans will get everything that they got out of Game of Thrones and more. More dragons.